Geocaching is amazing. It's even better with a boat. The prize awaits you out there across the water. There was so much to see, feel, experience along the way. So much natural beauty and detail in nature's landscape. Not knowing what to expect is part of the fun. Can you see it? This one is a 1-5, and its title is Backboard. And I thought it was a backboard, you know, as in emergency care. And the Mogul Sun says it's a, a basketball backboard. What do you think? What am I going to find? Hmm, let's see. Well, I hate to say I was disappointed, but it's not even a backboard. It's not a human backboard, like for uh, emergency cases. It's not even a basketball backboard. But I don't want to say totally disappointed because, wow, cool, it's an ammo box. We don't see them too often here in Ontario. I like it. Ooh, see how hard it is to open. Mm, that's pretty good. And beautifully dry, nice log sheet and some swag. And there's even a trackable. Holy doodle. The last signature on here is from uh, 2019. All signed in. And we'll be back on the lake for more caching. If we can get it closed. There we go. This lake that we're on is called McRae Lake, and we're just out for a day pal, camping nearby, and uh, seeing what we can see and enjoying the nature and the quiet and the geocaching. And I'm so glad that you're with us.
Wolf Cave, two and a half, two and a half. It's about 30 meters up from the water, up on the rocks. And it says it's a cave. I just hope there's not a wolf there, because it would be more than a uh, two and a half. So far I found a uh, discarded beach chair, a serving tray, and what looks like the uh, remnants of a tent. But so far, not a geocache. But I'm close. I'm going to take a stab at the fact that I think I see it. My coordinates first were way over here where it matched the description, a long thin rock with a cave at shin level. But they finally diverted over this way after all the debris back there. And I'm seeing these two rocks. You see them right there? They don't look too natural. So I'm going to have a look behind them. Yeah, this is looking likely. Just be careful the rattlesnakes. Ah, look at that. There we go. A can of tuna and an ammo can. <laughs> and it is a can of tuna. <laughs> There we go. Official geocache. Found it. There we go. Ammo can. And a can of tuna. <laughs> yeah, Admiral Chunk Light Tuna. Still good. Best before 2019. Yeah, I think it's expired. Let's see what's in the ammo can. Pretty good. Log sheet is in great shape, nice and dry. And there's a couple of little coins for the kids. Not that kind of coins for the kids. These are the fake doubloons. Get her signed up and put her back. And there's one more cache to find before we see the wrappers. And I'll take that can of tuna with me and back to the canoe. And what a view. Check that out. We decided on a nap. There was no rush. It's not a race. skipped the last cache. In shorts and sandals, I wasn't dressed for it. One of the logs convinced me just to move along. That log said, in part, it was not long after, before the trail markers disappeared, that we were left bushwhacking toward the cache. Over more cliffs and through bush up to our shoulders. Getting back was just as tough as finding the cache. We eventually made it and clambered back down the cliff with scars to prove it. There are so many other geocaches out there to find, you don't need to find everyone. <laughs>